Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 iPhone settings that you should change on your iPhone on iOS 13. Changing these settings will improve the overall experience using your iPhone and of course will improve privacy and battery life as well. So make sure you go ahead, check your settings app and check these settings and make sure you have them configured the right way. That way you will of course improve performance, battery life and privacy on your iPhone. So here are 15 iPhone settings that you should change on your iPhone on iOS 13. Now the first setting we're talking about is found under the accessibility section. Actually, I have a few settings here under the accessibility section that you should change. Now the first of them is found under accessibility and under audio and visual and it's called phone noise cancellation. Now what that does is that it will improve a lot your phone calls. Now if you have this off, make sure you turn it on. What it does is that it will just basically pick up the sounds, basically all the noise that comes from the ambient you're on and will silence them when you're on a phone call. That way the experience will be way better making a phone call and it will sound a lot clearer. So make sure you go ahead, go to accessibility, go to audio and visuals and make sure you have turned on phone noise cancellation. The next setting you should change is found under the accessibility as well and is found here under the side button. So here you can configure the side button of your iPhone. Now right here you can launch Siri with it which is the default, basically the default action and then you can also choose the classic voice control or you can just switch it off. But what I'm about to show you is right here, click speed. So you can adjust the speed that is required to double tap or triple tap right here on the side button. So this is the default and you can choose slow or slow if you don't want to do that by accident. So a lot of times you might just call like emergency calls, you know, the triple tap here by accident. Choosing one of these options will make it harder for that to happen. The next setting you should change is found under accessibility and under the touch section. Right here you will find shake to undo. Now this was a pretty cool feature way before you shake your iPhone to undo something but a lot of times this will happen by accident and you might just undo something you don't want to. Now with iOS 13 you know that Apple has added new gestures, three fingers, swipe backwards and forwards to undo and redo. So basically you don't need this anymore. You don't want to accidentally undo something so go ahead and turn off shake to undo which again can be found under the accessibility settings and under the touch section. Under the same section you can also find another setting that says vibration. Now vibration will consume a ton of battery on your device and I suggest you should turn it off especially when you have your ringer set on leave the vibration off because vibration the engine will take quite a lot of battery life on your iPhone but what if you want to just like kill vibration all through your device you can just go ahead and go to accessibility go to touch you will have vibration here and this will switch off all vibrations on your device just make sure you tap right there and every vibration will be switched off there is another setting that is found right here under the same section so accessibility touch and then you will have call audio routing now what this does is that it allows you to select where you want to send your call when you receive a call so you want that to happen automatic or if you wanted to, if you have like Bluetooth on Bluetooth headset like the AirPods, you can have that just switch automatically to the Bluetooth headset. Or if you want to always just answer on speaker, you can go ahead and select speaker right here. So based on your preferences, you have to go ahead and change this setting right here so that you don't have to switch manually, so let's say to the Bluetooth headset or to the speaker. And right here we'll see also another setting which is auto answer calls and right here can enable this setting. Now I'm not suggesting you should do this and have this on all the time but in any case that you know that you don't have your hands free to actually answer calls and you're waiting for a call or something you can go ahead and enable this and then you can set here the duration of the time to wait until the call is picked up. So but the default will be three seconds of course you can change that with those plus plus and minus buttons right there. So 
after these settings, after these, sorry, these seconds, the call will be automatically answered. That, of course, based on the time that you choose. So any call that you get on the phone will automatically be answered without you having to touch your phone. If you use a Bluetooth mouse on your iPhone or your iPad, which is of course way better than on the iPhone, then I suggest you go ahead and configure its settings. First of all, go ahead and go to, of course, settings, accessibility, touch, and then assistive touch, go to devices, and right here, of course, you will find the name of the device that you have connected to your iPhone. In this case, this mouse right here. And you will see the buttons right here. We have three buttons, and you can go ahead and choose what you want to do with each button so basically choose the action that will be performed when you use that button so right here you can see if i just go ahead and choose home on the button one i can just have the button one and it will just take my device home so you don't basically need to use the default controls that you have on a mouse you can choose whatever you want to do with the three buttons of your mouse in this case button one button two and the middle button is button three so with each of them you can set like a new action so if i go here to button three i can maybe set like a screenshot so tap right there and it takes a screenshot of my device pretty cool right you can also add extra buttons like this mouse right here has two extra buttons on the side right here so if you want to add extra buttons what you can do is go ahead and tap customize additional buttons and then right here you will need to press and hold the button and then choose the action so here i go ahead press on that button right there and then i can go ahead and choose the action right here so again let's just go ahead and choose like let's choose volume up so now once I go ahead and tap that button, it will turn up the volume. Real cool, right? So go ahead, just add that button right there and then press the button so that the iPhone knows which button you're configuring. And we have another setting for the mouse. So we see here the pointer. That's of course the default one that you get whenever you, you pair a Bluetooth mouse to your iPhone or iPad. But if you go right here under the same section, so settings, accessibility, touch, assistive touch, you will also find here pointer style. And what you can do here is just change the size of the pointer. Of course, you can go ahead and change the color right there. That's pretty cool. And also you can choose how fast you wanna hide it. So this pointer right here will automatically hide itself so you can choose here how many seconds you will have to wait for that. So if I choose five seconds right here, you can see that in five seconds, it will automatically hide from the screen. The next setting you should change on your iPhone on iOS 13 is found again under accessibility, motion, and then you will have here reduce motion. Now, if you enable this, you probably know that you will basically just disable the cool animations of your iPhone. And you can see right here, it just does that like fading style but it won't change that animation within apps. So if I go right here, you can see we have still the old animation. But if I want to do that, go ahead and enable prefer crossfade transition, and then you will have that crossfade transition, the same that you have as when you go in and out of the app, you will have the same even when you move like through the pages of the settings or another app so you can see that really really cool animation that you will get and now let's talk a bit about privacy so if you go to settings go to privacy and go to your location services go right here to system services these are like system services that will use your location and you can see here you will have a long list right there now the first thing i suggest you do is just scroll down and enable right here status bar icon so basically this will be disabled by default and that means that whenever one of these services is using your location you won't even know because it won't show you like an icon on the status bar like it does when apps are using your location so always make sure you have status bar icon turned on right here then you will also have here a few other settings you can change like product improvement all these will basically just send information to apple to improve their products of course that's pretty cool but it will just consume performance of course cpu usage and also battery on your iphone so if you don't want to do that go ahead and just turn all of these off 
There are a few other settings here that you can change in order to improve, of course, performance and battery life on your iPhone. Like the first one right here called Cell Network Search. Now, what this does, it will just basically all the time collect data about the cell tower usages of your iPhone and just send them to Apple. Now, you don't actually need that. It won't improve like your cellular like signal or anything. It won't do anything good for your iPhone. So you can go ahead and anytime just make sure you disable that because it will just consume battery out of your iPhone. Another thing you will find here is location based Apple ads. Now what this does is that it just collects information about your location. That way it sends those informations to Apple. That way Apple will be able to send you ads based on like the geographic position you're on. So it will just collect your location and then based on your location, it will send like more accurate ads to you. Now, of course, that might be good, but of course, all the time having the location on will consume a ton of battery. So make sure you go ahead and disable location based Apple ads. Another thing you will see right here, very interesting is emergency calls and SOS. Now I suggest you always leave this on. If you have this off, make sure to turn this on because this will use your location in a case of emergency or an SOS call. So always make sure that you have emergency calls and SOS turned on. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 15 iPhone settings that I suggest you should change and configure them the right way on your iPhone. That way you get a better experience using your iPhone and of course, better battery life and overall better performance on your iPhone and of course, better privacy as well. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something new from this video. So go ahead, leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.